working together, they've once again secured their territory. And now, having tarried on the border, they're returning to the females and the heart of their range. In this program, we'll be concentrating on the relationships between the males and females. Usually, the alpha male can have any female that he wants. When he's away, the others step in. Gremlin pant grunts nervously. She's coming into season, and Frodo wants her to follow him. She's reluctant, but Frodo has caught her alone. Getting impatient, Frodo gives a distinctive signal. Branch shaking is used by males to call females, and to avoid trouble, Gremlin gives in and goes to him. She allows him to assess her sexual condition and then pacifies him by grooming. She's tense and anxious but the younger ones can't possibly comprehend their mother's predicament. Galahad amuses himself nearby, but his younger sister is being weaned and wants constant reassurance from Gremlin. She's confused by Frodo's interest in her mother. Using a mixture of persuasion and intimidation, Frodo tries to get Gremlin to accompany him away from the central valleys and away from Freud so that he can mate with her unchallenged. But Gremlin's best tactic is to remain in the heart of their range. She keeps stalling for time and progress is slow.